guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you a really in-depth face tutorial from primer all the way to setting spray. So I'm gonna be showing you what foundation, concealer I use, pretty much how I cream contour, highlight, use cream blush, how I powder contoured, how I baked my face, how I baked under my contour, how I put my blush, highlighting all different ones for different skin tones, different um, skin types, all those different things. Um, this is gonna be a long video because it is a talk through video, it's not a voiceover. So yeah, and if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to comment them down below and I will have everything I possibly can think of linked down below and let's just get into it. First thing to start off, a lot of people when they make these videos don't include this I want to show you how I do my base so you can see what it's setting over top in case you get a different outcome maybe I use different products beforehand so the first thing I'm gonna do is start off with primer I tend to get really dry from baking which I will show you guys later so I tend to use a more moisturizing primer this is the max strobe cream I absolutely love this if you can't tell I finished a bunch of them I also have another primer to show you guys if you are more um, if you have bigger pores or if you have older skin and you have wrinkles or just you want to smooth over it, or this is just better for oilier skin in general and this is the it cosmetics bye bye pore primer it is one of my favorite primer like pore related primers it's going to take a generous amount of the strobe cream so that's just what it looks like i love this because it's just a moisturizer smells amazing and just kind of gives your face like a pearly glow Okay, so now that I have my primer on, I'm going to go ahead and color correct. I can do a whole separate video on color correcting because I'm not really going to go in to explain it pretty much. I'm using salmon color. It's the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm going to mix two foundations. Mix the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible 105 a little bit into my one of my all-time favorite foundations, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. I specifically like the Dewy and Smooth one, not the regular formula. No. <gasps> So the Dewy and Smooth is better for people with dry skin and the Infallible is a little bit better for people who have um, a little bit more oily skin. And I'm just gonna take the concealer brush that I use to mix it on my face and just uh, to mix it on the back of my hand and then I'm just gonna apply the foundation using that and then I'm pretty much gonna go ahead and blend out with the Beauty Blender. Also, I always tell people that there's no foundation that matches you 110% perfectly. So what I'm pretty much going to do with this excess on the back of my hand, and I'm literally just going to take it and put it underneath my chin or like my neck. I'm going to take a damp beauty blender. Yes, this is clean. It is just stained. And I'm going to pretty much go in bouncing motions to blend this all out. I'm just going to go ahead and spot conceal some of my acne and I'm just going to be using the MAC Studio Fix in NW20 and I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger as my favorite concealer for acne coverage. Now that that's done, we're on to the fun part. So the cream contour, the highlight, the bake, everything that you guys are actually wanting to see. So pretty much a lot of cream contour kits will come with like a couple dark shades that are creamy, a couple light shades that are creamy. I don't like using the light shades that are creamy because you tend to put those under your eyes and a thicker formula will kind of create creasing, which is not a cute look. So we're gonna avoid that. I, I know you guys have seen in a lot of my videos, I have used the Anastasia contour kit. I don't always use out the contour. So I'm gonna link a video where I had used that down below so you can see that product being used because I do still really like it. But I wanted to show you guys something that I use more on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't really like those cream contour kits because you tend to only use one to two shades in there. So I highly recommend getting a concealer and using that's cream contour and cream highlight. So one of the concealers I really, really like for cream contouring is the LA Girl Pro Concealers. These are very, very pigmented. The one I'm gonna actually use is the Sephora Collection uh, Make No Mistake Foundation Concealer Stick. And I have the shade uh, 12 Chestnut. I really like this one because it's not really, really orangey. It's not really, really cool toned. The reason you don't wanna be really orangey is because you're kinda of literally gonna look like an Oompa Loompa, which you don't want that look, and you don't want a cool, too cool undertone look, which I have made this mistake too many times when I was younger. You don't want a too cool undertone look for the main reason of you might look muddy or ashy and it's not gonna look cute, it's gonna look like you just put too much makeup on and it's gross. So there are many different concealers you can use to um, do your cream highlight. My favorite is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. If you can see, I had three. I also use them in my freelancing kit. 
but my favorite ones are Urban Decay Naked Weightless Concealer, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one, of course, I'm not a fan of the NARS Radiant Concealer. I think it's a little bit too thick for under the eyes, um, but many people tend to like that one. And that's all the ones I can think of off the top of my head. Ooh, the Bobbi Brown Serum Concealer is one of my favorite ones, especially if you have more aged skin or you like a kind of more natural look. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix um, light sand with light fair neutral. Pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it under my eyes. So I'm gonna kind of create like a V shape like that. So let's just say you just wanted to do it here. I highly recommend not doing that because then under your under eyes are going to look so much like they're going to be stark white and your face is pretty much going to look imbalanced. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my chin, uh, Cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and then I'm going to go ahead and put on the bridge of my nose. The reason I don't do a line all the way down is that it just pretty much protrudes your nose in a not cute way. Um, and then I'm going to put some on my forehead and then also I like to put some right under here because then when you cream contour, it'll kind of help clean it up and like help the blending process. So now what I'm gonna do, and I know you guys are gonna say this is like a full cake face, but I am showing you like a full on glam. Like if you're going somewhere, this will be bulletproof. So now I'm just gonna go ahead with that uh, fair neutral. And then I'm just going to go under my eyes to kind of brighten that a little bit more in all the places I previously highlighted to kind of just bring some brightness into the face a cream contour too so I'm gonna take that foundation stick and I'm gonna kind of not use it like this I'm gonna kind of like ring the edge of it because it's kind of like a nicer point and then so if you don't know where to contour um, I hate doing this to touch my face before I put powder but I'm gonna do it you kind of want to find where your bone is right so you want to start here the darkest part you want to be here so you always want to start with the product here because wherever you start that's going to be the highest con or the highest like amount of product and then you work it inwards you can always bring it more into your face but you can never kind of clean it up so i highly recommend just starting with a little bit and adding more and adding more um so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do that i also kind of bring it on the edges of my face to kind of like cinch it in or not cinch it in, but like kind of make it look a little bit more chiseled. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my jawline. I don't always do my jawline, I'm just kind of showing you guys for the purpose of this video. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and nose contour. I'm not using a, spe a special brush, I'm literally just getting the sides of my nose. I like to do a little bit right under there and a little bit right under there, like just make a square at the tip of my nose. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay, so just totally kidding. Um, I'm not walking around looking like this. I look like a crazy, crazy, crazy person. So um, I tend to like to blend out the concealer first because I feel like it tends to cover because pretty much I'm using a beauty blender to blend that out, but I'm gonna use a brush to blend out the other one. And I feel like the beauty blender is so big it might cover a little bit of the contour. So now I'm just going under my eyes and blending that out. I like using a damn beauty blender because it, it pretty much is a sponge so it will absorb extra product so you accidentally put too much it'll just help you look a little bit less cakey and I'm actually gonna leave the under uh, brightness right here I'm not gonna blend that out until the very end just because I want that to help later on with um, blending out the contour and just keeping that area just nice and clean and also I'm gonna avoid kind of the nose area because I'm gonna do that all at once together and just make sure it's all perfect Okay, so now to the contour, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Sigma Round Kabuki F82 brush. Mine is dirty, but the only other time I used it was with this same product, so it has no other color on it. I just like it because it's a nice, round, intense brush. The Sigma F80 is nice to, to blend this product out too. It's just that this one is a little bit rounder and a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit more precise when blending. Try not to go too hard. If you're having a little bit of trouble blending this out, I would recommend spraying your face with some kind of like hydration spray like Max, MAC Fix Plus, Mario Badescu, um, rose water spray or like the Smashbox primer water, any spray really, like just any hydration spray, the Tatcha spray, any of them work. So see that just blended out really nice, easy, seamlessly. Um, if you had to pick, cause clearly I only do this full shebang, like cream contour and highlight when I am doing like a full on glam because I'm a big believer in like doing your makeup in thin layers when you're trying to get it to stay on a long time, not like just putting on a lot, like a thick foundation. Like I just like thin layers cause I feel like it just makes it last longer. You know, just mixing the products. And then with the excess, I'm gonna kind of go up here. Sorry, I have a fan blowing because my lights are so hot. So pretty much like it's making my flyaways look crazy. 
but yeah, so if you had to pick cream contour or, high, or cream contour or powder contour or hot, like powder highlight or cream highlight, I highly recommend going whichever your skin type is. So if you have dry skin, you go with the cream kind of contour and highlight. And if you have dry skin, you go with the powder root. In with the beauty blender and i'm just gonna blend out that um highlight so now you see it's gonna help like clean up that contour a lot and just make it a look like look a lot more like snatched and sleek and chiseled and beautiful okay and i'm gonna take the beauty blender and i'm kind of just blend it out so i'm gonna go like press and kind of get that in there if you want to see like a full-on like nose contour video because I mean I clearly know how to do it that was just like kind of my easy little nose contour that takes like essentially no time um so that was that and I can even do it on other people so you can see with different nose shapes and yada 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 I'm gonna be using is the Kevin Aquan um blush this is the shade Prevella in the creamy glow this is what it looks like mine's really disgusting but I love it this is looks really like a bright bright Barbie pink but truly isn't so I'm just gonna dab my beauty blender into it because it's like my personal one Ooh, that's a lot it it's usually like a lot less I don't know why I applied it like this today um usually I use a lot less product though I'm a makeup artist so I took my makeup cheek bag out of my freelancing kit so you could see this is exactly what it looks like because not everybody is my skin tone so I want to show you guys different options for different skin tones Laura Mercier powder is just the most famous powder they have it in a darker color too for more dark complected people um I like this I'm really dry I'm not going to use this today just because this is on the really dry side something I really like for deeper skin tones is the Ben Nye luxury banana powder I use it on a lot of clients and oops they tend to love it I clearly don't because I dropped it our CMA powder I just changed its oh I changed its packaging um I got this off of Amazon it came with two I love that one a lot I also really like the cover effects powder and to top it all off I love the Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder. I'm actually just gonna set the under eye before I bake it. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder. I absolutely love, love, love this stuff. I'm gonna be using Tapered Highlight Brush in F35. I'm just gonna tap off the excess. Oh my God, my fan is like blowing this stuff away. I'm gonna um, pretty much make sure I have no creases under my eyes and just kind of like set that. I was just setting it so pretty much it stays in place for the baking and the cooking portion of this oh my god i just dropped so much of that powder from the fan pulls in like makeup trends and makeup like techniques are pulled from the drag world because they're under hot hot lights for a long amount of hours they do like the most intense makeup you can imagine if you've ever seen a drag makeup tutorial and if you haven't i highly recommend it even if it's not really your thing you should just see the application because it really is an interesting process pretty much cooking or baking it's literally blocking off your skin from breathing so then your skin starts sweating because it's so heated because it can't breathe So pretty much what's happening is your skin is sweating so that powder that's sitting over top is going to absorb that So pretty much you're literally cooking your makeup into your skin the heat is baking into your skin So I'm going to be using the RCMA no color powder your beauty blender like no exceptions Has to be damn. And this is just what my beauty blender looks like before I apply the bake and then I'm just gonna go And put that under my eyes been a lot more oily only in my chin so I'm actually gonna go ahead and bake my chin a lot of people tend to like to bake their nose I will do it for the purposes of this video just because I find that doing makeup on clients like the number one place where their makeup kind of like gets um, rubbed off nose area and women tend to have more redness around their nose than men just due to hormones and such I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face while this is baking I'm gonna bounce back between two powders I love Mac studio fix powder actually it's one of my favorite powders I'm not currently using that you guys know that Rimmel stay matte powder is one of my holy girl powders it like leaves no white cast on darker skin tones it's literally just a color that works for everybody I like it because it doesn't make you too matte to where you just look powdery and gross and I like it just because because it literally is so inexpensive. It's like $2.50, I'll link down below. It's just, hey, we are going for a full coverage, full glam look, so I will be using a foundation powder. I'm gonna be using the Hello Flawless powder. I'm using a Real Techniques powder brush, and I'm pretty much going to be setting the rest of my face with this. This is a darker color than my skin tone, but or than my natural skin tone, but again, it is the color of my fake tan. Now 
I accidentally wiped away a little bit of my bake, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some more so it can actually cook. While I bake, I'm gonna be showing you some contour kits that I like. This is the Kat Von D contouring kit. Um, you can buy these in individual like pan forms. So you don't have to buy all the colors, which is really nice because you don't need all the colors. Um, really, really nice formula. Honestly, I would like the Anastasia contour kit better. They have different shades for light, medium, and dark. Um, yeah, so this is just the light to medium classic contour kit. Those are for my freelancing kit. So yeah, I use those on my clients. My favorite contour powders of all time are the MAC um, sculpting powders. Unfortunately, the one that's in my shade, which is the shade Shade Stir, which matches my fake tan perfectly, is my all-time favorite sculpting shade, which I cannot find. So I just wanted to show you my one for when I am pale. So this is the MAC Sculpting Powder in the shade Sculpt. I absolutely love it. And this is their um, Brightening Powder in the shade Accentuate. I love these because you can buy them in pan form. I think they're about $17. These you can only get on maccosmetics.com or in pro stores. They're sculpting powders, but their blushes in pan form, you can get them individually. Fun part, I am gonna go ahead and wipe away my base. I'm gonna go back with that same Sigma brush. I'm gonna be taking MAC Accentuate, which is this white shade right here, and I'm gonna be mixing the bana banana, banana powder. I'm gonna be using the banana powder from this palette right here. I'm just gonna be mixing that because I don't really want um, my under eyes to pretty much look like super, super, super like white. Like I just kind of want to brush that away. Um, yeah, so you gotta kind of brush it away a lot. Like it kind of just. Yeah, but do you see how like that just made my makeup just like look a lot more like bright under there? It kind of just like added that extra like uh that extra like ceiling so your makeup will. I'm gonna go ahead and take Mac Fix Plus. You can use any hydration spray. This is just my favorite one. It has chamomile in it, caffeine. I'm pretty sure too, so it just kind of is nice and bright. And now here's one of my favorite favorite tricks if you ever get looking powdery I just go ahead with my beauty blender and I kind of now that I have that hydration spray in I kind of just press into my skin less powdery look and just like a more like natural kind of finish I'm gonna show you guys my favorite brush for powder contour and this is the morphe m 405 brush i absolutely love this brush let me show you powder contours so i got the Too Faced 16 hour wear it's a little bit dark for me right now so i have those max sculpting powders i'm not going to show you those contour kits again we have a tart one right here i love this one um i got some drugstores in here too this is the butter bronzer from um everyone says they like the smell it smells like a tropical play-doh that's how i describe it a booster and if you're an og youtube watcher or youtuber you know that this was the shit back in the day um, yeah, it's way too light for me right now. Pula bronzer right down here, which is what I will be using to contour with today in conjunction with the contour kit from Anastasia. Dark Avenue Princess, that's this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and bronze a little bit with that brush. It has, a, it looks like it has a little bit of blush on it. It's not gonna show up. And I'm just gonna kind of bronze with that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it in the same kind of places, a little bit bigger area that I'm gonna go ahead and put the contour on. But where I put the cream contour and I was kind of using like not a lot of this product. I highly recommend doing your bronzer before your contour. I just think it's the best combination to look at, make it look a little bit less muddy. So I'm just kind of taking this to lightly like warm up my face and kind of just make me look a little bit more glowy, alive, sun-kissed. Your face would naturally get hit by the sun. The Benefit Hula Bronzer, which is a holy grail. They have a lighter shade, yet to come out with a darker shade. I really hope they do for those darker skin girls um, out there. And I'm gonna be going back to use that Morphe brush. I like this brush because it pretty much is like dense enough to where like it applies like a good amount of product and will blend it out fast but it's not too much to where it's kind of like harder to like like pretty much it picks up too much product and makes you look all muddy and gross. The middle shade in this palette that's on I'm gonna go bake under my uh, contour so this should not be called baking actually people call it baking all the time but it's not staying on long enough to cook under there so that's why I'm not calling it baking so pretty much I'm just kind of taking a white powder cheekbone look where you kind of just bring it up like that I don't know how to explain it but you kind of just do a little curve really does not have to be super intense and I literally wipe it away almost immediately
And so yeah, that's the contouring. I use this blush in literally forever and ever and ever, but it is the Tarte Exposed blush. It used to be super popular on YouTube, and then we'll be using the Sephora Collection Pro Sculpting Blush Brush, number 99. It has a little bit of a MAC Mineralize blush on it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on my cheeks just because it is an important part in sculpting your face. And then I'm gonna have a cream blush, and it's gonna be staying a lot longer. Show you all my favorite highlighters. So here is Mac Soft and Gentle, an OG highlighter, just beautiful. We have Dose of Colors, um, a uh, baked highlighter in the shade Pearl Dust. I absolutely am obsessed with these. I would never, ever, ever buy this. It looks like a freaking blush, but I swatched it at Namie's one time and I fell in love. I was like, I didn't even come in here for this and I need this. Um, another one is the Anastasia Individual Highlighters. They're a different formula than their glow kits and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They are beautiful. Um, this is the old packaging of the MAC Soft and Gentle just to show you. A good drugstore one is the um, Master Chrome from Maybelline. This is in the shade 100. It is up absolutely gorgeous. For more natural, I would recommend using the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow. This is the shade Fair to Light. That's just what it looks like. It's super, super, super natural. We have the um, Bobbi Brown highlighters. I like the pink glow one. I don't know where. I just had it. Oh, here it is. I like to use this one on darker skin tones. I have them both in my freelance kit. And then this is my personal pink glow one. Love, love, love. One more. And here is the Hourglass. I love using these on brides, mother of the brides. It really is a pretty natural glow. So individually, these are expensive, but they are worth the hype. Mix MAC Soft and Gentle, the Anastasia A23. Just love this brush. I'm gonna start with MAC Soft and Gentle because I don't usually use that one and see how it looks and then see if, how much I wanna add to it. If you want your highlighter to be more intense, I highly recommend spraying your face with your setting spray or you could just be using um, with your setting spray or pretty much what you can do is you can go ahead and um, spray your brush. But what my favorite way to do it, just cause I feel like it kind of like makes the brush dirtier faster and kind of like messes it up. I tend to be, or I tend to like spray my face and then go ahead and use it. Cause then it just doesn't mess up the brush as much. So I just kind of like put it on the tip of my nose, the tip of my cupid's bow. Um, I just run it down a little bit of my nose. If you don't like being uh, super highlighted, do so Hollywood. just cause I am fake tan right now and I don't want such a light shade. I also can not say enough good things about Lightscapade highlighter by MAC. Um, I love that one. Lightscapade is beautiful every day. It's beautiful on brides, beautiful for night. It's honestly, I like it more than the ambient lighting palette. It is just really gorgeous for light skin. So now that I have the everything done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and I'll show you guys the full look. Okay guys, so I have the rest of my face on. I just put a little bit of like lower lash mascara. I did my under eye makeup, put on some lipstick. So that's just the finished look. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish everything off with setting spray. If you are dry like me, you're gonna kinda wanna use something like MAC Prep and Primer. I already used that and I want my makeup to stay on a little bit longer so I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And I'm just gonna cover my eyes just cause I don't want the mascara to run. I just sprayed myself and that is a finished look. If you want to see more like really like in-depth how-to videos like this, um, like, you know, how to color correct, how to put on fake lashes, how to find like your right shit or, you know, just how to do wing liner, liner, things like that. Um, please comment them, comment them down below. Um, and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button so I actually know that you liked it. And if you want to see more videos of me, go ahead and push the subscribe button. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions about how to contour, highlight, and cream and all that stuff, go ahead and comment that down below too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.